Like most incumbents, 10-term Congressman Tim Holden normally sails through his primary elections. But two weeks ago, the Pennsylvania Democrat was defeated by a local lawyer after a new nonpartisan super PAC aired $200,000 worth of ads against Holden. Congressman Holden took $700,000 from the financial industry. Why Congressman Holden? When we polled in his district, the people in that district did not like the policies that he had been promoting. Perfect opportunity for us to engage. Leo Lindbeck III is a Houston businessman who made his money in construction, real estate, and biotech. He's a conservative, but started the campaign for primary accountability last year to go after incumbents in both parties. Well, it really arose out of a sense of frustration, right? The sense that Congress wasn't working. Why wasn't it working? He thinks it's because incumbents have so little competition. More than half the House members who ran for re-election in 2010 faced no primary challenge at all. They raise more money, they have higher name identification, they've delivered lots of goodies for people over the years, and they've punished people who've opposed them. So they've got a lot of advantages. Challengers don't. We come in to equalize that. So far, he's helped to unseat one House Democrat and two House Republicans. His group's next target is eight-term Democratic Congressman Sylvester Reyes of Texas, who outspent his last challenger by a million dollars. They say they're only going after incumbents who are unpopular. Do you think you're unpopular in your district? Uh, that's not what my polling shows, but, uh, you know, the the veracity of the super PACs is very questionable, so I'm not surprised that they would misrepresent that. Like all super PACs, Lindbeck's group can raise unlimited funds from individuals and corporations. How much of your own money are you putting into this? I put in over a million dollars, which is a lot of money to me. I mean, I'm not like some super gazillionaire. It's a lot of money. Back in 2010, only four members of the entire House of Representatives were defeated by members of their own party. Lindbeck has already helped to unseat three in 2012, and party leader Scott are taking notice. In fact, he says they've even threatened some members of his staff that they'll never work in party politics again. It's a rough game. Nancy, thank you very much.